Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Well today I'm doing some more Christmas decorations and uh, yesterday I painted this bottle. It's had a couple of layers of chalk paint. There you go. Um, and uh, I'm now ready to dress it. Now you might look at it and think, well actually you haven't covered it all completely. Well I don't want to. That's the God's honest truth. I don't want to because what I'm going to be doing is decoupaging it using napkins that look like this. So they've got a little mottled effect from the sky and the trees and the snow and everything. So I've got these from the pound shop. I think there's yeah, 20 napkins in here, but obviously I only want one. In fact, I don't even want one. I want half a napkin. So what am I going to do? Um, if you saw my other video with my joy um, vases, it's going to be really very similar to that, except I'm not using decoupage papers. I've just said I'm using a napkin. So I've got my homemade Mod Podge glue, which is three parts PVC, PVA glue, sorry, not PVC, PVA glue with water. And then I've got my napkin. So let me show you what I've done. So I'm just going to put you down here. Okay, there you go. Can you still see me? That's good. Right, I will try and keep you so you can see me and what I'm doing. Is that all right? Okay, so I will bend down all this. Right, so I've got my napkin and my bottle. And what I did was I chopped my napkin in half. Um, and here's the other half of it, okay, which I didn't need. Oops, there we go. And then what I did was I measured round the bowl, the bowl, even the uh, bottle, just to see how much of the pattern I would use, okay. And sort of got a measure of where I would be with it, okay. Now for this bottle size and for the pattern I'm using, can you see? I'm not sure if you can see, right, okay. I worked out that actually that is about right. Now you think, oh, that's not a straight edge. No, it absolutely isn't, and I'll show you why at the end. So I've measured it around, okay, but if you can see there, I've done it, I've cut it so I don't lose the other deer, okay, and I'll show you exactly why that's important. So you get your napkin, and you don't need the whole napkin half either. What you need to do is, and this is where it doesn't help, you can't see about your glasses, is I want to peel away the um the second layer of this napkin because your napkins have got like two sometimes three layers if you've got posh napkins i'm not that posh um let me go see if i can get it i might have to find my glasses in a minute and do this we could be here for a while guys there we go okay so you end up with just the pitch of it okay now, word of warning, guys, this gets very delicate when it gets wet, so don't overwork it. Right, I need a paintbrush. Oh, right, got my paintbrush. Okay. Right, I'm going to try and do this so you can see me and what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got my um, vase, aka a balsamic vinegar bottle. And what I'm going to do, very thinly, don't overdo the glue on this guys okay so I'm just gonna put a thin layer of this just down there okay because that's my starting point okay and then what I'm gonna do is I want to make sure I've got the pattern right okay I'm gonna lay my napkin over where I've just glued it okay there we go all right so that's now on okay and then all I'm going to do is gradually go around the whole bottle on top of my napkin. And because it's water-based, hopefully what should happen is it will soak through and glue this to my bottle. But I'm going to do it very gently, guys. And I'll tell you why, because it will rip if I'm not careful. Now, if I've done this right, okay, can you see here I'm getting to the edge, okay. So this is my one edge and there's my other. So what I'm hoping to do is overlap my deers. 
can you see? And it looks, hopefully when it dries, that they are just one picture. Okay. And I need to just make sure I don't get any air bubbles in this. And coax it with my brush. Without ripping it. Okay. I'm going to leave that to dry and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it next. Right, that's now dry and what I need to do is blend all this in so it looks like it's the whole bottle. So I've got in here a palette. I've got some um, grey mixed with a little bit of brown just to get these colours here, dark colours. And then I've got some blue and some white um, which will be the snow and the sky. So I'm going to do the um, dark first. And just sort of do it where I feel the tree would have carried on up. Now there's nothing wrong with going over the actual napkin yourself. Just because it blends. It will blend it in for you. Now if your blue is too dark, like mine is, then that's where your white comes in. So you just keep adding white until you get the colour you want. Just keep checking it. Still probably a little bit too blue for me. That's the great thing about acrylics, that you can just keep mixing. with that what do you think I'm gonna leave that to dry and then I'm gonna give it a spray with a varnish just to protect it but I think that's pretty damn good considering a few days ago I was getting my balsamic vinegar out of it right so this is now dried and it's been sprayed with a varnish so that will keep it um, looking better longer. And all I'm going to do now is put some string around the top to cover this part of it up. And I'll hot glue it on so it doesn't come off. And I'll show you when I'm finished. It is looking good, isn't it? Really good. And here is the final vase, which I'm really pleased about. I love it. And then I also got these from the uh, lane where I got my apples from recently and just sprayed them gold and I thought they were lovely in there and uh, gives it a nice finishing touch. 
there we go so i hope you enjoyed that i'm going to be doing a lot more crafts with my pound land and pound shop um hauls over the next um week or so um because it's christmas and i'm loving making my own decorations this year so make sure you subscribe and get notifications if you want to see what i do with my shopping hauls and give me a thumbs up if you like it i will still be doing food on there guys i will do but because it's christmas i just thought you know what i'm going to share my fun with you too all right so you have a good day and i will see you soon bye bye